I've always wanted to explore up this road and I've never done it. So you know what we're doing today? Holy, that stuff's dry. Let's get cooking. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Apollo RFZ back. And as you guys might be able to tell, we're all by our lonesome here. We're gonna do something, we're gonna do something a little bit different today, but kind of the same. Uh, it's a little trail just to get around up into the woods here and up off this road. So go in, we're just doing a little bit of a ride and cook today. You guys said you want to see it, so we're making it happen. So if you guys are enjoying today's video, uh, let me know by slapping the like button and that'll let me know to make some more videos kind of like this. Give it a shot. <laughs> Where does it go? Which one are we going? I don't know. We're just exploring. Whoa. Okay. Never been here. No idea where this goes. We're just seeing if it connects where we're trying to go. Looks hella abandoned. Let's see if it goes somewhere, I guess. Not this one, it's all blocked off. So apparently this trail don't go nowhere. So let's just keep going onwards then, I guess. Yeah, we just had our gas vent line fly off somewhere. Now we got gas spitting up out at us. Wow, those are some big birds. Holy crap, whoa, eagle man. Holy Christ. I hope you guys seen how big those honking birds were. Those are some serious birds there. Woo! Eww! So today the goal is we're gonna try and make like an all natural fire using some matches, do some cook up, and then we'll be going in to film our second part of our video. That looks like a really nice hill to practice on now, actually. Now those that you guys are, uh, that are like OG subscribers, you guys will remember this and recognize where we're headed to. This is uh, my fort I built back in March of 2020 when this whole uh, situation happened. So uh, yeah, you guys will be able to see what I built back a year ago and we're gonna see what condition it's in because uh, man, I have not been here in a long time. So here we go is the beginning of our trail. It doesn't look like much here, but this is gonna lead us into my fort. So this trail I came through and I cut all myself with machetes and stuff over a year ago. So let's just see, I guess. Uh, how well it is. So those of you that are the OGs, you guys will probably remember this trail from uh, I think like my third video I ever filmed or fourth video I ever filmed. I came down here. Yeah, she looks about the same. She's bringing back some good memories coming down here and cutting all this trail, spending all this time down here during uh, C0 VID. You know if you know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Ow, those are sharp and hurt. Ow, that one right in the neck. Uh, I believe it was this way. Right through all this stuff. And then, I think this was to the right. There's some big hole here somewhere. Right through here is where we go, I think. Yeah, this seems right. We'll just keep mushing it through the woods here. And then we come over here. And then here's our crazy little, nope, here's our little hectic little hill climb that we got to do on the way back up. That tree is new fallen, haven't seen that before. And we stalled it right in the bottom. Man, it's been a while. Oh, some more, tr more tree fall. All right, we got the tree out of the way. Let's see if we can make it the rest of the way down into the fort here. Into the 
woods, over here, over there. Take a little turn down here. Oh man, hello old baby. Wow, it's been a while. Wow. Oh, the tarp's completely destroyed. So as you guys can see, we made it here to the fort. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see if I can get a fire going and we're gonna try and make up some lunch and then we're gonna go hop back on the bike and we're gonna go take it out and go rip around. So as I'm sure most of you guys know, you guys need a good like ignition source for if you're making a fire. So we're trying to find or see if we can look for any like old man's beard around here and uh, we'll use that as an ignition source and then we'll go ahead and we'll look for some like twigs and stuff and we'll use that and then we got a couple small pieces of wood we should be able to get away with making a fire, make up some food. It should be awesome, so let's do it. Exactly what we need. As you guys can see, here's some old man's beard, so we're gonna go ahead and let's just collect a handful of this stuff. All right, and now we got our little bundle of tinder, and we're gonna go ahead and take this stick that we got here that's really nice and bone dry, and we're just gonna crack them down into little tiny stick-like pieces to take the flame from our little bundle. All right, so now you guys should be able to see we got our little bundle, little twigs, a little bit bigger sticks, like finger width wide, and then now we're gonna go ahead and come to a little bit of supplies that I brought. I've got a couple pieces of wood here. I'm gonna take these, and I'm gonna shave these down into little small pieces and add that in there, so we're gonna do a little bit of batoning. So to baton this, all we're gonna do is take our little piece of wood here. We're just gonna stick the knife down it, or take a bigger piece and just hit it. Like that, and then you're gonna get these really nice shards. Okay, now you gotta go ahead and you got a couple of these little sticks here. So now you guys can see we got our whole different little pile of wood, so we'll go ahead, we'll get a match out, and we'll see if we can get this thing going. Now before I can even go making lunch, or even starting a fire for that matter, I need to get some sort of stick to roast on. So we need to go around here and take a peek and see what we can find that's not just totally rotten or disgusting. I'm thinking that branch right there looks pretty good. All right, so I got a stick here. This is gonna be my cooking stick, and I went down on the bottom and uh, just cleaned it all off with a knife, got all the bark and stuff off of it. Then we got some sort of pokey cooking stick. So let's, uh, let's see if we can ignite this fire. I'm just getting all my materials next to me and ready to rock and roll as soon as we get going here with this. See what happens here, boys and girls. Holy, that stuff's dry. Come on. Oh. Come on, you smoky girl. Not quite. After what took way too long, I think we finally got it going. Hopefully, let's cross our fingers that this thing picks up here. Let's get cooking. Damn, that took super duper long to actually get this little tiny fire going. And uh, I don't know why, but nonetheless, she's going now. Let's get some food on and let's get to brapping. Got ourselves a couple weenies in a bag. Got ourselves a little pokey stick. And let's just go like, bam. We, all right, let's put this thing on. Let's have a little bit of a rini roast. So let's go ahead and let's get this thing cooked up like this. Bam. She looking mighty fine, boys. Mighty fine. I think we gonna eat some doggy dog. All right, boys and girls, we got ourselves a doggy dog. That's what I'm talking about. With the dirt bike. A little fui fui in the fort with the dirt bike and the doggy dog. Can't beat it. All right, doggy dog, let's go. Hmm. Too hot and toasty. What dreams are made of right here, boys. Well, that was a whole lot of fun. All right, I guess we are on our way now, eh? To this big ass hill climb. We'll see if we can make it up or not. Should be real interesting. Okay. Now the actual big hill climb. This thing is so, so, so loose. Oh baby, oh baby, almost slid down the cliff. That was close. Oh. 
That was sketchy and close. All right, now that we are all the way up that, let's try and make our way back through the friggin' landmine of long grass and not knowing what's underneath it. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It really does mean a lot that you guys will support me and watch my content, I love it. nicer to have now I've always wanted to explore up this road and I've never done it so you know what we're doing today exploring unless it don't go nowhere I oh, know we got somewhere down here let's check it out boys Woo! <laughs> oh what a day what a good day I sure wish you guys could be out here enjoying this with me so I wasn't alone, but kind of how she goes, I guess. I wonder where this goes. It's a little bit overgrown for sure, but that's uh, what makes it an adventure, right? Woo! This is why you need to definitely have goggles on so you don't get just smashed in the eyes. See, there's an old something there. It keeps going here. Uh, and it gets pretty bushy all of a sudden. Huh. Exploration boys. What the heck? Why do heck? Where is this taking me? Ah! And I see a whole lot of tire marks turning around right here, so. Isn't that all part of exploration though, is you don't know what's there, so that's why you're going? Well, let's go explore down here. Doesn't look, oh, what's this? What are we getting ourselves into, boys? Oh, she's swampy. Oh, she's real deep down there. Yeah, this is not a good spot for me, eh? Not a good spot. There's like a whole river at the bottom, like a big pond, and I, I remember this now, it's deep as hell. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure you go down below, click the like button, click subscribe. If you are new here, make sure you ring the bell notification so you get notified when we upload a new video and when we go live. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you got any questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.